All right, this reading is for Pisces, the first decan, and the dates for that is February 19th to the 29th. Now, just remember that these readings are for the collective, okay? Um, so there's going to be perhaps a few different messages for a card. So just take what resonates and then leave the rest. And if nothing resonates this month, just check back next month. You just didn't have a message this month, you're on the right path, whatever. Um, also, keep in mind that my cards are not gender specific. So if you have a, you know, king of swords, then it doesn't have to be a male. It can be a female. It doesn't have to be either one. It's mostly about the characteristics of the card to pay attention to, so... We have four cards here, which represents that the angels are with you. 444 is known to be the angel's favorite number sequence. This is a simple reminder that the angels are near and supporting you, and that they are likely giving you a hand and helping the universe bring you blessings. So, your first card is Eight of Swords, and it represents, like, um, self-imposed restrictions. Um, isolation, imprisonment, stuck limitations. Um, it sounds to me like you might be going through a little self-destructive thing or you're getting over it. Um, you've been isolating yourself. You're keeping yourself from things that you're supposed to be going towards. You have three of pentacles in reverse, which represents like office politics, sloppy work, bad working coworkers, no team. So perhaps that could be like a lot to do with it. Um, especially if you work a lot, you know, you're going to be in that energy field, all the time so it's going to like kind of put you in an anxious way of life but you also either have this isolation thing going from something else and you have office politics like bullshit at work so you're getting really stressed about shit the fool is your next card and it represents new beginnings um a new path infinite potential um an inner child it could represent travel, and um, it represents optimism and freedom. So, wow, okay, a lot of new things are going to be coming to you, and you're going to be changing this mindset quick. And it's cute, too, because your last card is the Three of Cups, and it represents friendship, um, like celebrations, or a strong circle of support, you know? So, um, it also represents joy. So there's a lot of good things coming. Um, so you're only going to be feeling like this for a very short time. Because you're going to realize what you have around you. and um, These new beginnings are going to start popping in on you. And giving you a fresh start. Surprises. Under the most ordinary stone is an undisturbed garden. Like I said, new things are coming. They're going to be very surprising to you. You're not really sure what you're going to think of them. Um, intuition. Simple. Complex. Words of pain or words that heal. You come to know truth by the way that it feels. 